Hello, this is going to be a tutorial on the basics of setting up uh, bones in Lightwave uh, without using Skelegons and Modeler. Um, Lightwave now has this set of bone tools which you can access from the Setup tab, um, which used to be a separate plugin that you had to buy separately, but now they're included with Lightwave 9.2. Let's go ahead and get started. If you know nothing about bones, then this tutorial is for you. It will show you all the basics. Um, you can't add a bone now because there's no object. Bones can only be parented to an object. They cannot be floating around like this light here doing their own thing separately. They can only be part of an object. So let's add a null. Usually bones will be part of a mesh. I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes. Now you can add a bone. <clears throat> It'll ask you for a name. And you'll see your bone with its default uh, settings here. If you hit P, you can go to the bone properties. As you can see, bones are their own separate thing. They have their own little uh, item selector here. And um, <clears throat> you'll see all the basic uh, items for the bone here. Uh, it gets kind of complex pretty quickly here if you look at it. But uh, for right now, since we're just setting things up, the only things we really care about at this point are bone, whether it's active or not, and the rest length. The rest length is very important. <clears throat> The rest length is the physical dimensions length of the bone. It's different from the scale tool. If you were to use the scale tool to scale your bone, as you can see, for, for one thing, as you can see here, the, the, the edge of the bone, the fat end of the bone, gets kind of squashed out. And uh, what this is going to do is it's going to uh, cause you big time problems later on when you animate. So let's not scale the bone. If we want to change the actual physical dimensions of the bone, we need to use the rest length tool, which is hotkey shift R, and then you just drag with your mouse, and now you're saying the rest length. You can see it down here. And you always want to change the dimensions of the bone by using the rest length tool and not the scale tool. It will cause you uh, many headaches if you do it that way. The other thing you need to know about bones is that uh, <clears throat> they start off in an inactive state you can see that by this dotted line. You can activate them by bringing up the control panel and hitting bone active, or you can hit the hotkey, which is R. You should uh, definitely leave your bone inactive uh, while you are setting up your rig, because as you activate the bone, it will start to deform the mesh. And if you only have a few bones, it's going to give you very strange results, and you won't be able to actually place the bones into the center of your geometry because of the fact that uh, the geometry will be squashing and stretching to the bones influence as you're adding the new bones. So always keep all the bones off. You can turn the bones on and off globally if you have many many bones by going into bones on and bones off. And that's a helpful tool for turning on and off your rig so you can see what the undeformed mesh looks like. Now you have one bone, uh, if you need to add more there are several different options. You can hit the uh, hotkey equals to add a bone <clears throat> or you can go ahead and use this drop down list here under add you can go to child, draw child bones which I don't use for a couple reasons for one thing as you see here it says bones can only be drawn in the orthogonal viewports let's switch to that and try it again now we can draw the child bones but what I don't like about this uh, draw child bones thing is that um, sometimes, for whatever reason, the the bones seem to kind of twist. I'll get into the bone twisting in a moment. But uh, and then the other reason is that you cannot add them just from the orthogonal viewport. So, for example, from here I can go ahead and add another bone and rotate it and do all the things that I need to. Okay. So that's that. What you'll hap What happens if is that. Um, an important thing to realize also when you're adding the bones is that the twist of the bone is very important. So if you look at, let's go ahead and delete these ones, hit the minus key, and we'll clear all the bones in this hierarchy. Go to the side view. Let's say we're setting up an arm, like a curved bicep here. Um, imagine that the mesh is, is in here and that these bones are in the center of the mesh. Um, as you can see here, the, the axis, the fat end of this bone, forms a sort of plus, and <clears throat> you want to keep that aligned with the mesh. If it's not aligned correctly, um, you'll get weird uh, occurrences when you try to animate it later, especially if you're using IK. If these bones are not twisted in the same direction, 
as you can see here from the side view especially you can see this line going down the center of each bones and they sort of line up for example if you go to modify bone twist you can change the twist of this bone as you can see these bones, the little jack is facing the same direction on both of these bones. You can specify that to go somewhere else. Now as you can see, I've, I've twisted the bone, so if we go back here, you'll see that they don't line up correctly anymore. They don't look exactly the same. And what's going to happen is if you set up IK on this, they're going to be flipping and flopping all over the place because they're not twisted in the same direction. So you should make sure that uh, the twist is the same on, on all these bones and um, I found that the best way to do that is just to hit the equal key to add bones and then go ahead and rotate them into place and not use the uh, the child bone tool and if you do get in a position like this <clears throat> again you can use that bone twist tool to bring these guys back into place <clears throat> if you come here you'll see it's kinda lined up but it's not exactly perfect this this one the center line is exactly straight and this one you can kinda see that the two lines and if you use the bone twist tool from the side view it gets see I'm trying to drag it now and it's not even it's not working at all there it goes it's very difficult to line it up <clears throat> you might want to uh, type in something manually if, if you want to use that tool so that's the basics of adding the bones and uh, next I'll show you things about the pivot points and rest length and all that stuff